What kinds of things happen when you let the scanner go too long without cleaning? Well, first of all, over time, a lot of debris from the checks will build up on the rollers, reducing their ability to grip the check, especially the ones right here and here that pull the paper through the feeder. And since those rollers are turning very fast, the dust particles get crushed together into this hard, slick layer that's caked onto the surface. It's a little bit like the dirt that accumulates on your car after a storm. You can see here what a clean roller is supposed to look like, compared to this dirty one taken from a machine that wasn't clean for thousands and thousands of documents scanned. Now, this one is especially caked, but even before it gets like this, you'll start to see feeding problems as the rollers lose their ability to grip the paper. The most common problem you'll see is that a check will slip as it enters the track, which then registers as a paper jam and causes the machine to stop. Now, a true paper jam is when the document is actually stuck. For instance, if there's something blocking the track or if the document is torn or damaged and it gets crumpled up in the rollers, like you see here, with dirty rollers, there's nothing actively preventing the check from moving through the path, but an abnormal feed will trigger the scanner to stop, which is a good thing. We'll get to why in a minute. But the point is, if you have a scanner that seems like it's jamming randomly and repeatedly, and there's no obvious reason for it, dirty rollers and track are high on the list of suspects. One thing about a check scanner is that most of the dirt and debris from the documents tends to rub off right where you feed them in. On the one hand, that's great because we can focus on cleaning that one area. But on the other hand, that's also where most of the sensitive parts other than the camera are located, so it's extra important to keep that area as clean as possible.